Hi, and welcome to another 5-minute tip. In this tip, we're going to look at the array object and sort of a little trick that I figured out on how to work with objects a little bit more easily when using the array object. So typically, we use the array object by creating an array, and then maybe a cylinder. And then to activate it, you place the cylinder inside of the array. Now this allows you to do a lot of interesting things, but it kind of takes some of the control away from you. What I mean by that is, well, I can still do a fillet or a fillet on the caps here. I can still use these handles interactively to adjust the height of the object, but I can no longer rotate the cylinder. That, that doesn't work. It doesn't work when I move the cylinder either. And this is just due to the nature of the way the array object works. It doesn't really care what the coordinates of the cylinder are. It just cares what the attributes of the cylinder are. So if you really wanted to move the cylinder around, you could convert it to an editable object, choose axis mode, and then move it like that. But the way the array object really wants you to move the cylinders is by adjusting the radius. Now this works, except it can be a little bit fiddly when you get down to smaller dimensions and it doesn't give you any control over rotation. So here's a really simple trick or technique that I use to have greater control over an object, such as a cylinder, when using the array object. Create your cylinder and then immediately place it into a null object. The easiest way to do that is just to group it under objects, group objects. Now we have a null with a cylinder in it and they share the exact same coordinate system. Now we can place our null in the array and we can still move our cylinder. We can even rotate the cylinder and it obeys everything we tell it to do. Something that might make this even easier to work with is to go to the array object and set the radius to zero. It's going to put everything in the same spot, but it will allow you to intuitively move the cylinder out and sort of treat the cylinder as one of the instances. Now keep in mind, this only works uh, intuitively if you move it out along the z-axis. If you move it along the x-axis, the object that you're controlling uh, in, in the wireframe view at least, is, is not the same object that you're modifying. So yeah, you move it along on the z-axis and at that point you can still make all of the regular adjustments to it. You can rotate it, you can scale it, move it, and it all kind of works pretty intuitively. So if you use the array object a lot, but are kind of frustrated with these limitations that it imposes on you, this might be a nice way around it. So this was a really simple tip. I hope it was useful to some of you guys out there. And until next time, see ya.